Hello and welcome to Upside Down. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an auto material for your terrains, which automatically blends two or more materials without the need of us going and painting everything by hand. Let me show you how it works and also this is something which is going to speed up a lot when you're creating a big open world maps inside Unreal 4. I just created a standard Unreal project without any starter packs and I'm just going to delete this and we are adding a landscape. I'll make it quite small, we don't need to have anything big. So I just did 15 by 15, create, just so that we have something that uh, we are going to apply our material on. And now I can just make folders for our textures and also for materials in textures uh, i already prepared few textures for dirt grass and also for rocks which we are going to use now in materials we are going to create a master material and also i'm going to create three material functions which are going to be our grass dirt and rock material Now let's start setting up those materials. I'm going to start with our dirt. And since you can see that here we have only one node, we still have our three textures that we need to somehow input into this uh, material. I'm going to drag and drop them here. So the way to plug those into the output result is to, we need a material attribute. So I'm going to type make material attribute this node goes to our output and the rest we just connect it base normal and here of course occlusion roughness and metallic we can put some parameter nodes if we want here and after that we can adjust those like to be able to manipulate for example the roughness and all these things but in this tutorial I'm not going to do it if you want to learn a little bit more I'm going to put a link in the description down below for my tutorial about Unreal 4 materials where you can learn how you can promote different parameters into variables that you can later on change so we are finished with our dirt I'm going to just save it and after that go to our grass now that our material functions are finished it's time to open our master material grab those three and just drag and drop them inside now comes the more tricky part about uh, setting up everything so we are going to first start with our grass we want to break material into attributes so this way we can from here take our base color and normal map and we are going to do some magic with the blendings so that it blends a little bit better now that we've broken all the attributes and we can take whichever channel we need, it's time for us to start uh, assembling the whole thing. So first we are going to start from the bottom, like from the rocks and dirt, and then we are going to build the other layers on top, like for example the grass. So first thing that we are going to blend is actually our base colors. So I'm just going to type lerp, and we are taking the base color from the rock as well. Now that we lerp those two, we need to lerp also the top one. Another way to add lerp instead of typing it here is if we hold L and just click somewhere, it will automatically add lerp. This is by default in Unreal. So we are lerping those two. And this lerp already we can connect it to the material result here. Now that we connected how materials are going to lerp, we need to start giving a little bit more information to Unreal how exactly we want everything to be blended so this is done by the alpha channel on our lerps so we are going on the first lerp that we created and here i'm going to drag and type world 
uh, Align Blend. What the World Align Blend does is basically it's, uh, it's allowing us to blend materials based on shapes. And here we have a couple of parameters. We are going to go through some of them, like for example, uh, blend sharpness. This is how sharp is the blend between two materials. So we can make it like very blurred one or it can be like very sharp uh, and so on and so on. So let's first add a few parameters. Those I'm going to add them as parameters that we are going to promote. So after that, we can create a material instance on our master material and easily tweak all these settings, how it's blending and all these things. So what we are doing, I'm right clicking and then we are going to parameters. And what we need is scalar parameter. The first one, I'm going to name it blend sharpness. And just so that we know exactly where is this blend sharpness, I'm going to name that it's between the dirt and our rocks. And I'm going to give it just some base value like 20. We can already see our result here on the side. And the next one that we want to make is for the bias. So I'm just going to do bias again dirt and rock and connect this to our blend bias and here I'm going to put let's say 10 as a default property now let's do the same thing for our other blend I'm just going to copy and paste everything connect it to our alpha and just going to change the naming over here. So this is our lerp between, I'm going to call it between the dirt and the grass. So it will be D and then G and on the other one as well. I will leave again the parameters on the same values because uh, anyway, we are going to promote it to our instance. And after that, we will be able to play with those and uh, just have different result. Let's apply and save our material. I'm just going quickly to make a material instance. And we are going to apply this material to our landscape. And now I'm going to just quickly test it. So we are going to landscape mode. And after that, I'll make my brush a little bit smaller. After that, I'll just paint a little bit. We can see that at the moment, nothing is happening, but we already have at least some uh, height over here so we can come to our material and I'll just make it like this a little bit smaller on the side uh, enable all of the blending settings that we just uh, promoted and let's give a little bit different parameters so let's put on here minus uh, 10 and you can see that now everything is pretty much covered in grass, but uh, we are going to fix this. So now it's a little bit better, as you can see. It's not completely everywhere. And then we are going to do something similar to our... Um, between dirt and rocks. We need to change a little bit the positions in our master material. So I'm just going to open it. And here we are going to just move the grass to be on the very bottom and our rock on the place where the grass was. So we are placing the rock over here. Okay, now everything seems to be on the correct place. Let's uh, play a little bit more with the blending. I'm thinking that I want a little bit more, yeah, something like this on our dirt. Let's uh, quickly test around. Now, the thing is that at the moment we have only one of our parameters. And uh, now let's go back to our master material and blend some of the other textures. So what I'm gonna do is blend our normal map and also with our normal map I'm going to make it a little bit more interesting the blending that is happening over here. So what we're going to do for the normal maps is use the same world alignment blend but this time I'm just going to add a new lerp over here. This one is going to go into our normal and of course we need to grab the normal maps from here so this one goes over here 
and then we need another lerp which is going to be from our first materials okay and this time instead of using the alpha channel what we're gonna use is actually our explicit normal it goes to our alpha and the same over here and now we need to connect this one into our A, compile and save everything. Now you can see that we have a little bit of some dirt into our stones over here. And as well a little bit of the grass blending down our dirt. Let me fix the tiling and I think that uh, we are going to get a better result, much better result. So to fix the tiling we need to go to our material functions and here we just need uh, texture coordinates Yeah, now it looks a little bit better. We just need to fix our uh, Roughness because at the moment everything is so at the moment you can see that everything is like very very shiny so I just need to fix that let's go back to our master material and we are going to do same linear interpolation and connecting everything for all the materials like we did before So from the stage that we are at the moment here we can of course always add more materials, make more blending, also improve the quality of the materials inside our material functions and just add on top more and more features. Thank you for joining me in today's tutorial, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time!